My name is Danny Hayes. Today I bought a brand new motorbike and I said to myself, what is the best buy online if I had $40,000, which is about 30,000 US. So I've bought, I bought that motorbike online. Except I spent a tiny bit more than $40,000. The question is, what is it? What's the best buy for 40 grand? I've bought privately. I've owned all sorts of Harley Davidsons. I've owned street glides, CVOs, road glides, road kings, four V-rods, soft hull slims, fat boys, um, 48s, 883s, 1200 sporties. I've ridden them. I haven't rode... I haven't ridden all the Harley Davidsons, but I've ridden a lot of them. What does $40,000 get you in the second-hand market? And you know what? It's, it's funny. When this bike came out, I remember thinking, what on earth were Harley Davidson thinking? They've so got it wrong. They've missed the mark. They're not in touch with their demographic. And I know everybody has an opinion on Harley Davidson. It's because we're all so passionate, you know. Um, looking at the bigger picture with all the controversy, all the, you know... From a marketing perspective, and I know a little bit about marketing, it's kind of my background, Harley Davidson would love it. Good marketing, bad marketing, it's all good. Um, if you're at front of mind, it's a good marketing experience, and Harley Davidson does it better than anyone in the world. I mean, people like me, you know, we have it. We have the emblem tattooed on us. You know, I'm an avid Harley Davidson fan. It's the only bike I've really ever ridden. I don't want to compare it against any other bike. I don't need to. My Road King is the living testament that you can brutalize a Harley Davidson and and it just keeps going. Um, you, you can't even blow it up. They're tough bikes. Yeah, I just thought, what can you get? I saw this bike and I just thought, oh, yuck. But the color scheme, when I saw it, when I and, and, and they're rare. I've only ever seen one. And this one came on bike sales and I just jumped on it. And I just bought it. You know, I paid $41,750 for it. I went a little bit over my budget. I then had to get a roadworthy for it, which was no problem. And then I had to register it. So it owes me about 40, 43,000. So on the road, $43,000. And um, secondhand bike. Let's go check it out.
so here it is it's called the envious green fade what a cool color <laughs> i've polished it so much the the dust from the cloths all over it but it is just i know 50 of these vlogs of the 22 cvo road glides have been done um i guess i'm excited because i've got a new bike and um I'm one of these guys that firstly I'm not really a reviewer of bikes or products because I'm not very good at it that's not my my talent my talent is riding a Harley Davidson and not dying though um, I did have someone I knew die two days ago which is tragic my talent isn't it isn't doing reviews I'm not engineer I'm not technically minded I'm not mechanically minded and there's nothing wrong with that um, I ride bikes and um, this this, in my opinion, is the best buy on the internet at the moment. Um, as I said, $41,750, $43,000 on the road. It's done 8,000 kilometers, 8,000 Ks. Now, the beautiful thing about when you buy privately, um, because unfortunately when you vlog and when you have a following, firstly, I'm not saying you should buy privately. I'm just saying if you have cash um, in this market, a bit like the housing market and I'm a real estate agent um, there's deals to be done I jumped on this as I said this is a hard color to get and the beautiful thing about buying from the second-hand market before I say that I just want to say this I've also bought another motorbike brand new which is on its way so I've bought a second-hand one and I've bought a brand new one so I'll be reviewing that shortly I, I love <laughs> I love buying Harleys. My two kids are through school and it's, you know, it's my money. People spend their money on all sorts of stuff. You know, I feel obligated to say that because people are going to say, oh, he's showing off. Oh, he's, da -da -da, you know, oh, what a waste of money. He's got too much money. He's really rich and all of that. And that's okay for people to, to, to think that. But I, I, this is my hobby. This is my thing, you know. Um, I love it. I, I get a buzz out of it. And But let's talk about this bike. The extras I got with it was, how's this? I got Wilbur suspension. So we got Wilbur's front and rear, and um, just, okay, the best thing about the bike is the stereo system. It is awesome, I love riding with music. And um, okay, it came with Wilbur's suspension, 47s, handlebars, here. Um, came with docking hardware, it came with a luggage rack, it came with a pillion a pillion rest it also came the guy that had it owned a gel seat um, it's got a touring seat um, a little bit more comfortable than this one although I actually like this seat at this point um, I've done already 2,000 K's on it um, believe it or not I, I, I love riding and it's it's been some really nice Sun also this has Reinhardt slip-ons um, but they've still kept the original um, casings or or, or covers exhaust covers I, I think the, the exhaust looks great so this this is just a stage one what else did it come with um, it came with these these grips I, I know some people hate them but I like them oh, it came with a 9 inch windscreen and that's it but let's just um, This bike is just, it's in brand new condition. The guy really looked after it. The guy was, let's say, I didn't steal it off. I didn't steal it off someone, like I didn't, um, but I think $41,750 is a really good buy for this bike. 22 model with 8,000 Ks on it. You can see there, it's my drone beeping. On the Wilbur suspension, I had to set the sag. It was pretty easy to do. And you know, I, I lifted the bike up on a jack and I sat on it I, with some markers. I won't go into it. There's lots of YouTube clips on how to set sag. But the sag is set to 20 mil. Um, it rides beautifully. And, um, you know, I love these wheels. Um, and it's just, you know, got the 117 Milwaukee 8, in my opinion, is indestructible. I've got the 107 Milwaukee 8 in my Road King, just done over 100,000 Ks. Part of the reason why I bought this model and I didn't buy the new one is because any new model, I've owned lots of cars and lots of motorbikes, any new model, there's always teething problems. I know there's, 
th there's been some electrical problems with the, the 23 model, the new one. And I always think when you buy the last model, although it's not the current shape, it's perfect. The sound's perfect. It's thrown no codes, you know, although I don't really get them anyway, but it just rides so good. And yeah, I, I don't get paid for saying this, but I want to try and keep my channel authentic because a lot of people do reviews and and I've done it too, and it's it's not your bike, and you feel obligated to say good things about it, because you know someone's giving you a review, uh, someone's giving you a bike, and you're creating content as a YouTuber. But I'm trying to do more of my own stuff where I own it, so you know you can really know, um, you know, really learn about the bike. But just when I ride this, I, I feel like it's CVO. I feel like it's special, and this is a head turner people are looking at it and you have to see this thing because when you look at it this way it's black but then it just sort of and then you look at it this way oh it's just just the the color color it's, um I just think I mean this this really is a new bike um, and like I said before I'm I, I'm <laughs> I'm happy I got a good buy I feel I got a good buy I tell you why no one's lost more money on Harley Davidson's than me <laughs> oh god I don't know if you remember the grey um, CBO I had it was a 19 model or an 18 model 17 slash 18 model you know I stage four that thing I it would be 70 grand I think I sold it for 40 or something like that I'd be 75,000 so this bike brand new was fifty nine thousand dollars or 59,990. The guys probably with the handlebars, Wilbur's, has probably put 12,000 into it. So it's probably 72,000. And picking it up on the road, 43, 53, 63, it's 20, 27,000 um, dollars. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is a whole lot of motorbike. Guys, that's the latest addition to the stable. I plan to do some serious touring on this. Um, I'm not going to take it off-road. Um, I'm not going to do that. That would be stupid. Um, just look at that badge. Just, just the 22 model. I, I just there's little little things that that just make it better. You know, it's funny. As I've gotten older, I'm just I settle. I'm settled into the to the road glide. I think a lot of people as a, as a good solid tour the guy actually said to me and, he, and I, the guy's probably watching this that i bought it off so you know no disrespect but he said that he couldn't notice a difference between the suspension and the stock suspension well i can um and that's because i ride a lot i can really notice it i can notice it cornering at speed i can notice it with a pillion on the back and i can notice it with, with it fully loaded up um big time it really eats the um the bumps and there's plenty of bumps where i ride trust me well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know if you think it's good. You know, let me know if you think this is good bang for your buck. And as I said, I've lost plenty of money on Harleys, and my my loss has been your gain. Surprise, surprise. There's another bike coming, and um, it's brand new. Yeah, tell me if you like the Envious Green Fade. 2022 CVO Harley Davidson Rogue Light. That's it. Thanks for watching.